just for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. I have one question uh, for Mr. Kovacs. Uh, Arizona removed the budget for the Department of Environmental Quality, and I know you referred to it just now, someone, another witness did, from the general fund in favor of fee-for-service model. Does this chamber support such a move uh, like that for the states? Well, it's, an it's certainly an interesting concept, and I'd like to see more data uh, about it, but I think, I'm sorry, no, I think it's on. And I'd like to see more data, but it's, it's, it's just pull a little bit closer, and I think that'll be make it's a, You know, it's a, it's a fascinating concept. The states overall receive roughly about sixty percent of their budget, I think, forty-five to sixty percent from fees anyway. And on the on the fee issue, in some states, I, I believe even like California, for an example, for an environmental impact statement, the developer actually pays. I don't think anyone is asking, because they pay, that doesn't mean they get any special treatment. What it means is, is that they've paid for a service. If you buy a book on Amazon, you, sh you expect a book. If you pay for uh, a filing fee for a hazardous waste facility or, or a solid waste facility, you expect that the state will review it. You still have to comply with all the same tests. You still have to comply with the engineering drawings, the, the, the zoning requirements. All of the, anyone who wants to sue can still sue. Every, all of that is still in place, and if the state makes a mistake or there's a violation, the state has enforcement authorities where they deny the permit. But what, the, what the, the business community never asked for is special treatment. They asked for the service that they would be, would be paying for, and I think that on states like Arizona, I think that you've got a, you've, you've got a, you know, a good laboratory. Very good.